said we might see some snakes today. Yeah. How's your heart feeling, mate, after that one? Yeah, fine. <laughs> he looks pretty dead, but no, he's, he's asleep. He's in a deep one. Um, Usually they don't let you get that close. An adult, but I've definitely seen bigger ones. Mm. All venomous, the same though, aren't they, mate? Oh, yeah. Jesus. A slight detail. We're, we're on Jake's track, as I've been referring to it in my head as you've been leading the way today. And that would be very unfortunate to get bitten off the trail. Well, it'd be very unfortunate to get bitten in general. Western tiger snake? Southwestern tiger, South tiger snake. Southwestern tiger snake. Usually that thing would have heard us coming a mile away. You don't often see them. But he's either in a deep sleep or he's dead. I'm surprised he's still not. Still hasn't roused. Yeah. Can you see heartbeat on him at all? Because sometimes the side of them gives a little pulsation. Usually, yeah. Go past him anyway. Yeah, we do. So keep the camera For you uh, out of Australia viewers, um, Tiger Snake is seriously, it's up there, isn't it, mate? In the top five. Top five. Um, Maybe because we came this way. I'm not saying you wouldn't see them the other way, but we came this way and we saw that. That's our first snake of the trip, mate. Mm. Yeah. They say the tiger snake doesn't actually hibernate, it just slows right down. So he's taken advantage of like the most sunny day he's gonna get for a while. He's like, screw you guys, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm solar paneling the, the yeah. crap out of this, this moment. Yeah. Get my blood warmed up. So I can, oh yeah, he just moved. Oh, look at yeah, him. Yeah, he's just moving oh, now. there he goes. That was lucky, bro. God, he is slow at the minute though, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Poor cousin. Wait till I warm up, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go, so he's not dead. And that's why, you know. A lot of people say, well, is he dead? I better poke him and make sure. Uh, walk past and give it the uh, respect it deserves because they're quicker than a human being can react. Uh, yep, well, that answers that question. If he was alive or not. Yep. You've done well to not step on that, mate. Mm. I'm really glad you didn't. Yep. <sighs> what a gorgeous... Gorgeous creature, hey. It's gonna be a much slower walk to um camp than <laughs> <laughs> Jake and I are taking a cheeky shortcut here <laughs> along the railway. Uh, no, I cut off 1k of track. But the challenge of walking across the old railway line through the sleepers. So I'm going to put the phone down, going to put the camera down, and uh, concentrate on this one. The one length that I've walked of it, Jake's come in, out, and now he's going back out again. <laughs> I think one of us is handling the uh, heights a bit better than the other. You want to practice undoing your pack very quickly if you're to fall in there. It reminds me of uh, a show route, a show rides or something where you get a bit of nerves going. Because you don't know if the ride's going to break or not. <laughs> yeah, that's always part of the mystery. It's not the heights or anything, it's just, just you don't know how strong the foundations of the ride are.
there's still time for them to fix this up and do the train line as like a couple of night journey on a sleeper carriage. On the way from Bunbury down to here. Next step, Red Gum Bridge. 50 meters, same again. Much better condition, thankfully. Still frightening, very slippery. Ooh. Again, I think the camera's gonna go away. It's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Because the feet are so warm in the shoes. Yeah, isn't it? Icy. Can we can uh, make it to the hut barefoot? I reckon that sounds good. Yeah. My shoes are hurting. So Jake's unfortunately bought a. What's so, what size did you buy, mate? Was it nine, nine and a half? Nine and a half. Yeah, these nine, guys, these yeah. Keens. The size of my feet are nine and a half, but my abnormally long toes. Medieval people. Yeah. He's on 26, 27, 28. Yeah. Donnelly is just great. They're under new management. Yeah. I don't know how many nights a week they do it, but they do a free wine tasting. Yeah. But they pour you full glasses. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning on the track. Good night's sleep. Uh, we stayed at Warren Hut last night. There was uh, two blokes there already. Um, I think a couple of school teachers, or one retired school teacher and uh, one current school teacher. Yeah, good sleep, and now we're on the track again, heading towards Schaefer, Schaefer Hut today. She's got a bit of a lean tour in there, bit of a. Run down what we've got here. Yeah, well, the Oscar goes to the best stick character ever. Some sort of weird stick worm. I don't know which end is the front. Whoa, oh, look at it go! That is a way to cover some ground. Oh, yeah. Well, he's moving faster than me. Boom! Look at that. There we go. Now I've got you in focus. I think he might have to come with. See if, he like it. See if he makes it. Not gonna gonna, run. It's gonna end up on your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no vegetation up there for him to. Uh... He's gonna hit a rock. <laughs> Maybe I'll take him off. I might accidentally crush him if I do put him on. Come on, you want? Be a good boy. You want it? Oh, he wants to fight you. Yeah, he is. He's gone. He's like, you want some? Last little section to shape us up. Alongside a beautiful dam. Really mild day. We're supposed to get a lot of rain today, but she's behaved herself. And yeah.
to the view. So Jake and I have received some bad news from the uh, Billum and Track Foundation that the, um, the track between Walpole and Northcliffe is advisable not to cross because it's a uh, long stretches of waist deep water. And after the last scare that Jake and I had in the cold, it was bad enough having the rain coming from the top, let alone water coming from the bottom as well. So. Um, I think we're going to call it a day at Northcliffe, so the adventure has been cut short. Um, I feel a bit, a bit shitty about it. Um, would have, yeah, was really enjoying it. Now I've got to face the reality of going back to the real world. Gonna have a shitload of stuff to catch up on. But yeah. relatively easy walk today into Northcliffe and there'll be a pint and a steak waiting there, so it could be worse. Um, let's hit the track. Jake, on this trip, uh, what has it made you grateful for? Uh, my family. Steak. Yeah. Always makes me grateful for this place, the southwest where I live. Uh, it's made me grateful for my ability to still be able to walk, but I'm getting signs that I may not be able to walk as long as most humans are going to be able to because of some old injuries, but when I stop walking, on my legs, I'll start trying to walk on my hands. And Australian Rural Adventures video would not be complete with a bit of, uh, without a bit of uh, automotive archaeology. So what have we got here? <laughs> well, <laughs> most importantly... <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you're too young. Click off now. <laughs> <laughs> She's seen better days, hasn't she, mate? The extra padding. Oh, with the moss. Beautiful. Extra cushioning. That lights up beautifully on the um <laughs> on the camera. That's right. The yeah. old um blue that blue interior that they did in the eighties that they never should have done on anything. Oh yeah. I think the key's still there, bro. Oh. We'll get it going. Yeah. Oh wow. That's the key. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That looks like an aftermarket tape deck. That may well be, mate. It's like a, 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 I just wanted to rest my hand on that. <laughs> aftermarket mount. Yeah, that's old school cool, mate. Old school cool. It's obviously a four drive ute. It's gonna be. It's got to be a an MQ Patrol ute, hey. Yeah. Uh, judging by the. Well, the turbo gives it away, so it's not a GQ. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little tour symbol in here, guys. <laughs> the, <laughs> the bonnet is uh, uh, now in two pieces. Oh, look at the rat nest there. Oh, yeah. Let it go. <laughs> cool. Very cool old dolls. I'm going to say it back here. It's an F truck. F100? Yeah. They always did have the best tailgates. There's a fork on the roof. Oh, oh man. She's got a gorgeous front end. Oh, yeah. oh V8, I'm going to assume a... Yeah. It's a Cleveland. Probably a 302 or a 351 Cleveland. RAC. I think she might have met um, an untimely demise, mate, because we've got a socket, a spark plug socket here. So maybe she's a bit unhappy. Oh, yeah, check out the old school stickers. Well, she was last going in 2008, wow. according to that. 
um, rego sticker there. It's not bad. Yeah. It's only, I feel old now, 14 years ago. The tank is right behind the seat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is too, yeah. Right there. Nice and safe. Mm. That carpet is, um, is a new world. Headliner looks all right. Lovely old girl. Don't forget to get out on your own adventure. Jake, any quick last words? Yeah, get out, get out there. Get out there. Hit the track. See you in another one. Oh, yeah.